What is up YouTube? This is Jim with GemLobas.com and in this video I'm going to do a full review tutorial on mangles. Mangles provide 5-in-1 SEO tools that you can use everything from keyword research, SERP analysis, rank tracking, backlink analysis, and SEO metrics and insights. So in this video, video I'm going to break down each and every one and give you a full review. I've been using this tool for years now and I'm very familiar with it. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm here on the Mangles website. And as you can see, if you're looking for a juicy SEO tool and not a dry SEO tool, then Mangles is for you. One of the best parts is it has a 10 day free trial, uh, no credit card needed. So I'll go ahead and put a link in the description so you can uh, try it out for yourself. But once you create an account, you'll be uh, in their dashboard. And right here you have the five tools for all your SEO needs. And the first one that I like to, uh, I'll cover is the keyword research. And this is one that I use to find uh, low competition keywords. So you go ahead and click on there and it's brought to you to this screen where you can find a thousand of keyword ideas. So you can search uh, by the keyword or by the domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and put best mattress and you can pick from whatever country that's on the list here anywhere united states germany and you can also pick languages so i'm just going to go ahead and uh, click the united states and like i said you can also do it for uh, search by domain but for right now i'm just going to go ahead and, and click uh, find keywords and right away on the top left here we have uh, search by the keyword so here's the information you can filter and then you can also look by related keywords, autocomplete, and then questions. So right here on the left, you have all of the keywords uh, where you can, so we started with just the one keyword, best mattress. And for each one, it'll have the trends, it'll have the search volume, the uh, cost per click, the PPC, pay per click, and then the keyword difficulty. So what I like to do is I like to uh, look at them by keyword difficulty so from lowest to uh, to highest and right here you can see the search volume so this is a real quick way that you can find uh, keywords if you can if you notice right here and you don't see uh, an actual keyword difficulty number you just click on it and it will do a real time so that one there moved to 30 so as you come down here i like to look for uh, green ones and as you can see right here, we have um, Best Mattress Reddit. So that one has uh, 4,300 search volume with the keyword difficulty of 21, which is very low. And then if you go down here, I have this one right here, which is uh, Best Camping Mattress, 32. So um, this is the one we're looking at and all you do is click on it. And right here, if you click on the actual keyword difficulty, it has a list of um, 0 to 14 easy, 15 to 29, still easy, 30 to 49 possible. Then you have the hard, very hard, and don't do it. And then right here, it'll give you the search volume. It also provides you with uh, the actual search volume trend. And as you can see, that um, best camping mattress uh, has a, a spike every year. You can also look at it to, through trends. So with this tool here, you can also see the SERP overview. So down here, you're gonna have uh, position one, two, three, four. This is what's showing up on Google. And right here, it'll have the URL. It'll have the domain authority, the page authority, the uh, citation flow, trust flow, how many links it actually has, Facebook shares, and the actual link profile strength and you can see here uh, these first two have a high uh, link profile strength the second one here is in green so I'm gonna go and right click and open that one and um, this is how you would do keyword research using this tool and you can see right here it brought up uh, best camping mattresses and this is an article that's ranked number three on Google and as you can see, you've, we've you know found keywords uh, very quickly and easily using the KW Finder. And this is one of the tools inside of uh, the Mangles SEO 
suites. So this is how you can utilize the key, the KW finder to find uh, keywords. You can also export uh, the list of keywords that you find. All right, so the next one on the list is a SERP checker. So right up here, up top, we have the SERP checker. And when you click that, it brings you here. Uh, so on this last one, we just found the keyword, which was best camping mattress. Uh, you know, uh, United States, we'll go ahead and you can do either desktop or mobile. And I'm gonna analyze SERP. And basically it breaks it down a little bit more deeper of information. So right here you have the uh, keyword SEO difficulty 32 out of 100 the SERP feature impact very low and then uh, 227 million results and as you can see right here it has more information it will tell you the results visible on the page fold it will have the actual uh, link address of course it will have all the information uh, that you can use here and you can also uh, filter you can uh, export to CSV you can also compare your article to the ones on the top of the list so right here at the bottom you can actually add yours and you can pair it to the top ones on the list and of course you can easily open up the articles here and uh, compare them to yours see what you can do to improve your article but that's basically the way you use the SERP checker it's a real in-depth tool so let's go ahead and go into the next one the next one's going to be the SERP watcher so with this tool you can easily track keywords on your domains it could be your competitor's domain or yours and all you would do is you would create a new tracking you would put the actual domain uh, there you would put this the location and then desktop or mobile and once you do that, let's just say this uh, hiking website. I would put the website there in the United States and I would um, then I can add the keywords. There's camping mattress. You can put uh, several more um, keywords here and I'm just going to go ahead and start tracking. And it would take a little while uh, to do it, but it would keep in, it would track all the keywords that you added. So like that, you can see, you can, like I said, do it for your own website. So basically this is SERP Watcher. The next one is Link Miner. This is a very powerful tool if you're looking for backlinks, uh, to find backlinks. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste the URL that I had from the camping website. And I'm just gonna go ahead and find the backlinks. So right here, it go ahead. Um, we hit, went ahead and put the website there, and it has uh, the actual citation flow, the trust flow, the referring IPs, the referring domains, and the active backlinks. So right here, you can see each and every one of the backlinks. You can filter them. You can do them by uh, do follow or no follow. You can see which ones are active, which ones are deleted. You can load more. And basically it gives you um, the information of the URL. Again, it gives you the citation and then it actually gives you the anchor text of the backlink. And then the link strength indicator is right here. So if you were researching backlinks and you wanted to reach out to some of these websites, this is a real quick and easy way where you can do that. Um, you can go down the list here. You can open them up and do some research but this will show all of the uh, referring domains and backlinks to that URL. As you can see right here, there are tons of them. Um, so this is a real quick, easy way um, to find out which uh, backlinks are to a website. And of course you can export all of the list here. So the last tool on here is a uh, site profiler. So once you click on site profiler, it's the, this is the most important website metrics and insight. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with the same website that I've been using. I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste the URL and this is going to give us all the insight and metrics. So again, cleverhiker.com it has the domain authority of 45, the page authority, it'll have the citation, the trust. It'll have the referring uh, IPs, 
Facebook shares. And then if you go down here, it'll have the backlink profile. And as you can see right here, they have a total of 3,632 active backlinks and they've lost 46. It has a screen uh, um, graph here. You have the total backlinks and you can see there 11,000 backlinks. And then it also gives you a uh, link type distribution, text image, as you can see, uh, do follow links, active link ratio. Again, it'll give you referring domains on here. And then it also has the top referring domains. So again, you can see right here, which ones are the top ones uh, that are referring to that domain. It'll give the website popularity rank. So this one is over 1 million. And then it gives uh, anchor text, some of the information there. Uh, anchor text distribution with the brand and then it'll provide um, top content if it's there and then it also gives you the competitors so as you can see right here it being a hiking website you can see our rei is a uh, top competitor and it has a lot of these um, camping style of websites so this is a really good way to get an overall insight of an actual domain URL. And this tool, like I said, is called Site Profiler. So next, what I actually want to cover is the cool thing about with the mangroves, they have a Chrome extension. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the Chrome extension now. If you're on a website, let's go back to this hiking website and with the with their Chrome extension, you just go ahead and click on the actual extension and right away it brings up a lot of the information that we were just looking at. So right here it has the overview, it'll have the domains, it'll have the referring IPs and it has a little bit of information. If you actually want to see more, you would click on it and they would actually open up one of the, um, the, the site profile that we were just at. And then if you're on a website and you want to know some of the keywords that is ranking for, all you do is just click on the keywords and it'll go ahead and bring them up. So like that right away, you can already see that uh, this keyword right here, this website is position number one for a really good keyword here, which has 49,000 search volume and it has a keyword difficulty of 24. So that quickly, we were able to find a keyword. We were not even trying to find a keyword. I was just trying to show you this. It's back, uh, backpacking uh, Patagonia. That's the keyword. And this is a really good uh, keyword. As you can see how quickly we found one. And you can see all the positions that uh, they're ranking for. So you can quickly and easily find keywords. Here's another one, backpacking with a dog. It's in position two. Search volume is 33,000 and it has a low keyword difficulty. And then of course, if you click on the backlinks, it'll give you all the black backlinks uh, just within the extent, uh, extension, SEO extension here, as you can see. And then of course, if you wanna see all the backlinks, you would just click on it and it would open up uh, the uh, site profiler. And then on page SEO, It'll give you all of the information from uh, the meta tag structure. So right here, it's giving you the information of the title, the description, number of words in the actual article, 3,200. It'll give you even the site map, Google index. So this website has over 1,270 pages index, and that's the Chronicle link. And then the last thing is the uh, rank tracking. So it's telling you we found 25 keywords you should track shoes for hiking hiking with poles. So these are keywords that it found to be uh, good keywords. So this is the actual like I said uh, Chrome extension that it comes with. So I'm going to go back here and we'll go in and cover just pricing. So like I mentioned um, this is a tool I've been using for several years. If you decide to go with the monthly plan. Uh, the basic one here uh, is a perfect tool. It basically, you get uh, keyword lookup 124 in a 24 hour uh, time frame. So basically every day, uh, keyword suggestion up to 200 
they got the premium plan and then the agency like i said most people can can uh, handle the basic plan but if you really do decide uh, uh if you're serious about this tool so uh, i would re recommend the annual because you get 35 percent. so if you decide to go with the annual you get all this tool here which is a keyword tool plus all the other things for thirty dollars a month um like i said that's normally what i do i, I sign up to the annual plan um tools like this like hrs which is another of the premium seo tools uh their basic plan is 99 dollars. so this one here is 39 dollars a month if you would actually uh, sign up for the annual what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put a link in the description so you can get that 10-day uh, free trial. You also get 48-hour money-back guarantee. So if you enjoyed this video, please do my favor. Hit that like, subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.